Young Josh got in touch with me last week and asked me to promote his channel for him, give him a little shout out. So, I'm going to give him a little shout out. Right then, hello and welcome to another video. So thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for that Josh, I'll leave a little link in the video description so anybody can go and basically check out his channel. Um, if you can like and subscribe to young Josh's channel and follow him on his um, mini adventure. I'm sure the young lad will appreciate that. So anyway, on to my build. Hi again, that's us back in the garage. Uh, I've got a spare hour or so after work. I haven't been as busy as I thought I would have been this week at work so I'm not going to waste any time and I'm going to do some more work on the Mini. Um, after work today I popped down to Halfords and bought a tinny for a million and a tinny undercoat. Um, the reason for that is I'm going to start painting panels that I'm going to fit that I can't reach once the car's painted, because I want the car panels to be painted inside and out. So I'm going to undercoat this section here. This is the box section, which goes there. And as you can see, it's absolutely humped. So that'll fit. And then like so. So I'm going to undercoat the back of it and paint it. Um, that way it's going to be nice and protected and hopefully not rust, rust out as quick as what that one has. Um, I've got the doorstep here, this is a heritage panel and a heritage hinge panel. So the plan is was to paint the, the back of this, give it a little rub down and paint that and also do the same with this section, just here where my finger is, um, give that a rub down, paint paint the inside of it as well, because these will be areas that I won't be able to reach once the, once the car's painted. I've also marked out the areas where it's going to be cut, here and up there, and I've also got the the scuttle in place there, that's just sitting in place and again you can see I've marked it just there you know, again that's a heritage scuttle I've been advised um, not to fit anything except a heritage scuttle um, everything else is shite apparently and um, I don't want the car looking bad I've also ordered up a cross member bracket from M Machine and floor pans now, because M Machine make their own floor pans, um, I haven't to build them or press them before I get them. You know, they obviously don't carry carry spares, so um, that will probably be about a week or so before they come. Um, and also, brew. You've got to have a brew. Right, I'm going to get the camera set up and um, we'll start doing some light rubbing down and painting. Just before we start, remember I said in the last video there that I forgot to buy door hinges. Well, as it happens, I've got a spare pair of hinges, um, which I found in the filing cabinet, and they happen to be the right side. Um, they're really stiff at the moment. They may move if I jam them in a vice, but... they're stiff, but mind you once there's a, a door hung on it they should move 
So hopefully these um, hinges will be absolutely perfecto and that will save me from buying hinges. So at least it will let me get the door hung for trying out when I'm welding up the pillars. But anyway, first of all, let's get these rubbed down. I'm just going to use a, a scotch pad for that. So I'm just going to paint the inside of it, which will be this side here. So if I just give it a little, a little rub down, just to roughen it up, so that it will take the primer. You don't have to go rage with it. I mean, it's just to give the to paint a key. I'm not going to bother with that side um, because um, that side I'll be able to paint from inside the car. But this side is the back. So obviously I won't be able to paint that. Um, with the door hinge pillar, I'm going to paint... Well, I can under, undercoat the water yet, but... I'm going to paint this section here, because that's hidden by the door pillar. Um, yeah, by the outer pillar and paint the inside of it as well because I'll, I won't be able to get to that so again I'm just going to key it up I don't think there's any point in taking this um, electro coating off it well at least I don't think so anyway maybe with the cheaper panels but certainly not with the Genuine ones. So if I give this a key, this will give the paint something to bite onto. What I'll do is I'll etch prime this before I prime it. Because obviously you want to give it the best possible key. And the etch priming it. Um, it can only help preserve it, I suppose. The more paint that's on it, the better. Right, that'll do that for just now for that bit. Um, I know that that's going to be getting welded um, to the car. That'll be getting plug welded, but I'll be cleaning off the areas of paint um, where I will be applying the plug welds. So at least the majority of the panel will have paint on it anyway, behind the panel. Um, that way it can hopefully prevent corrosion from setting in or delay the rusting process anyway and give the panel as best protection as I possibly can. Right, I've just given the doorstep a little um, clean up with the scotch right pad and I don't know if you can see that there but where it's been cut at the Heritage Factory 
it's kind of rough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that edge a little file because there's a sloppy metal running right along that cut and also the cut on the other side so I'm going to give that a little clean up take the, take the swarf off it Right, well that's all the shitty edges cleared up on the on the A pillar and the step. So um that's ready for painting. I've also given it a a rub of the scotch pad. Right, um, this may not be totally necessary like I say, but the whole idea here is just to try and get paint in behind areas that I won't be able to reach when I weld, like I say. Um, and obviously I will burn off or rub off the areas where I'm going to weld it onto, you know. So that way at least the majority of the panel at the back has got ample protection on it, rather than just leave it the etchy coat or um, bare metal for that matter, you know. Um, so I can only do what I can to help preserve the car because that's what this whole project's all about. Anyway, um, my cup's empty, so it's time for a brew, as you can see. We can't have an empty cup in the workshop. Um, I'm letting the doorstep just behind me dry up. That's got a coat of um, red primer on it. So I'll let that dry up and then once that's dry we'll give that a splat with um, vermilion. As if by magic the cup has been refilled. Right I'm going to give the hinge post another quick splat of paint and then I'm going to paint the underside of the um, doorstep. Right, that'll do that because that's going to get covered by um, the A post. So we'll move on to the underside of the doorstep now. Right, here we have an underside of the doorstep. So we'll give this a quick splat.
not really going to be too fussy about the, the lip there because that will be getting welded. And I'll probably have to bust that back in bits and then hit it with the um, weld through primer. But bits like under here that obviously won't get welded, I just want to make sure that the metal is sealed. And the only way to seal it is by painting it. Right, I think that'll do that. Um, it should then um, hopefully give it an extra few years of life. Um, as you as you can see, I've actually painted it orange or vermilion. It's cheap shite helpers paint, but it's not seen. And um, cheap Halfords paint is better than no paint. The car, as you can see there, is red but it's not going to be red. Um, the actual colour of the car is vermilion. So that's what colour it's going back as. You know, because the red that's on, on that car at the moment, it's a Ford Radiant Red, you know. Um, and apparently it's cheap. So, um, it's not going to be Radiant Red any longer, it's going to be Vermilion, the colour that it was when it was made at the factory all the years ago. So anyway, I'll let that dry, and then once that's dry, we'll move on to the colour section here, we'll start removing this. Um, so that'll be for the next one. So that's all the painting done for today. I've done the doorstep and the A-pillar and the hinge panel as you can see. So what I'll do is I'll let the paint dry overnight and if I get a chance tomorrow I'll work on it again tomorrow and we'll start cutting out some metal and welding that in. So it's probably a good idea just to let the panels dry overnight that way it gives the paint a bit of a chance. Anyway guys, once again if you've made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye now.